I'm Bob Adams, and I'm here to talk to you a moment today about the map of Panama. This is a very basic introduction. Some of you have just uh, begun to be interested in the country. You've seen a map or two. It doesn't really mean a lot to you. It takes a while to describe it all. I'm just going to start with something very, very simple and very basic today. A couple items that are occasionally asked of me in, in emails. Uh, what is this business about the Pacific Ocean being to the south, and what's a comarca? So let's go ahead and take a, a quick look at that map of Panama. Panama is in the Western Hemisphere. Most nations of this hemisphere think of the Atlantic Ocean as always being to the east and the Pacific to the west, not in Panama. You can see that Panama is a link between the north and south, but it turns east to make the connection. In Panama, the Atlantic is to the north and the Pacific to the south. We stretch from west to east. Costa Rica is to our west, not our north, and Colombia is to our east, not our south. Two common mistakes made by new arrivals. Here is a map of Panama that you may have seen several times already on the internet. Can you buy, rent, or build anywhere in Panama? No. Some areas are set aside for our Native American population, and their land and homes are not for sale. They are called comarcas. Here the comarcas are circled in blue, in Gobe Bugle to the northwest, Cunillala along the coast of the northeast, and Embra Unan in the east is divided into two sections. In addition, there are two sub-provincial comarcas not shown on the map, but shown here is within the two red circles. Finally, the green rectangle to the east is a very rough approximation of the Darien Gap, an area covered with heavy rainforest running along Panama's border with Colombia, and also not home to expatriates. A friend helped me by whiting out the comarcas and making the Darien Gap gray so you can see the colored portions of the map which are available for your consideration as a home. The others can certainly be visited and they should be. They are beautiful, just not available. And now we return to where we began, a view of the entire nation of Panama. This has been about as basic an introduction to the Panama map as possible. In the future, I will use maps to discuss areas of Panama where folks live now or may live in greater numbers in coming years. Until then, thank you for your kind attention.